Hello everyone, we will continue the topic text table and so far in the previous videos, now we are ready with two independent tables. First one is our primary key table and second one is our text table. But there is no relationship between the table. Then how system will understand that this is the text table for this particular primary key table. Now we need to assign the relationship between the tables. We already studied the topic in full detail in a back dictionary playlist that is primary foreign key relationship. See, same to same thing is applicable here. This is our primary key table and this is our foreign key table. Just only only thing is our foreign key table is acting as a text table now. But ultimately this table is dependent on this particular table itself. So this first table is your primary table. Second table is your foreign key table or you can understand it is your independent table. This is your dependent table. This is your primary key table and this is your foreign key table or you can say foreign key table which is your text table because ultimately see we are learning text table but ultimately this text table is dependent on this particular independent table, primary key table. Now, especially freshers, they will do a mistake here. What they will do? They will go to primary key table and they will assign the second table here. Just see simple understanding. Which one is your independent table? This one is your independent table. It means we need to firstly, firstly put the data into primary key table. Suppose simple, simple understanding. What is the purpose of primary foreign key relationship? The purpose of primary foreign key relationship is to achieve the data consistency. What do you mean by data consistency? Data consistency means whatever the data, whatever the data is in the primary key table, only that data must be acceptable in the foreign key table. Suppose simple example, we have item number one, two, three in the primary key table. It means I can only go for one, two, three item number in the foreign key table. It is never, never the case that I will put item number four in the foreign key table, which is not in the primary key table. That's why we are assigning the primary foreign key relationship so that in this particular foreign key table, you should not put any wrong data because it means your data is inconsistent. If you are not going for any relationship, as of now, there is no relationship between the table. So I can put any item number, but that is inconsistent data itself. Simple. Suppose I joined one organization and suppose in this table, we are storing the employee ID and in this table, we are storing suppose employee salary. If employee ID is not there, how, how that particular employee can get a salary? It means it is totally, totally dependent on this particular table. So this is your independent table. This is your dependent table. This is your primary table. This is your foreign key table. Or you can understand this is our primary key table and this is our text table 
foreign key table which is acting or in this particular scenario it is text table it means in this table the items should be checked against this particular table so you need to go to dependent table dependent table now in that dependent table we will check that only only that data is accepted which is in the primary table primary table and we all know for primary foreign key relationship what is the prerequisite tables must have a common column common common column now if i will go for prerequisite tables must have a common field or common column if tables do not have a common field or column yes we cannot go for primary foreign key relationship and what is the common column between the tables item id especially beginners what they will do they will go to primary key table and they will assign the foreign key table there it is never never the case think your independent should go to dependent your dependent will not go to independent so this is your independent table it will go to your dependent table so i will simply simply go to my foreign key table or dependent table this is your item id now i will click on to foreign key button and this word itself will give you the clarity check table now here i will give the name of my primary key table this my primary key table will act as a check check table it means it will check that data into this text table and how it will check the data into the text table based upon your primary key table it means whatever the data is in primary key table that data will be checked into this particular table you cannot go for any wrong data at all that's why we are going for primary foreign key relationship now i will put the name of my primary key table now i will go for create proposal and it will give you clarity this is your primary key table or you can understand check table this is your foreign key table primary key table item id is equal to foreign key table item id now i will come on to this part when we simply studied the topic primary foreign key relationship at that time we chose the radio button not specified but now we have the concept of text table so we need to choose which radio button key fields of a text table now i will come on to cardinality again beginners will slide will slightly slightly confused into cardinality cardinality is number of records in one table corresponds to number of records in second table for a particular entry i am using the word for a particular entry just see in primary key table for item number 1 i have how many records 3 for item number 2 how many records 3 for item number 3 how many records 3 number of records in one table corresponds to how many number of records in second table for a particular combination particular combination means item number 1 item number 2 item number 3 it means for a particular record i have multiple records in the text table for a particular record i have multiple records in the text table it means number of records are not fixed into the text table so cardinality is 1 is to n 1 is to many what is cardinality number of records in one table 
corresponds to number of records in the second table. If you want huge explanation, you can simply refer the ABAP dictionary playlist. There you will get full concept because just the only difference is we have the text table. This is the only, only thing. But ultimately, it is primary foreign key relationship only. So I will put cardinality one is to many. Now I will simply, simply by mistake, if you pull, we'll put one to n, this radio button will shift to this. If by mistake it is shifted, just make sure you are here. Now I will go for copy and I will now the relationship between the two tables is assigned. How I can check now? Suppose I will simply, simply go to now this particular table. This is your primary table. Now, if someone asks you, tell us what is the check table for this? You can simply, simply go for go to text table. And you can see we navigate it to text table. And why, why we are able to navigate? Because we assigned, because we told, yes, key fields of a text table. So what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely important, especially for the beginners because they confuse how they will always do the vice versa. They will assign the foreign key table into primary table. No. Just think, you are a part of organization. If primary data is not there, how you can go for secondary data? It means secondary is dependent on primary. Dependent is uh, dependent data is on the independent data. Yes, your primary key table. Yes, your primary key table will go to foreign key tables. Yes. Because in the foreign key tables, whatever the data you are putting, it should be checked against what primary key table. So primary key table will act as a check table into the foreign key tables or dependent table. In our case, it is text table. So we simply, simply go to the foreign key table. That is our text table. I clicked onto this particular foreign key button. We push the name of your primary key table. Never forget to use this particular radio button. I pass the cardinality and depends upon the data. We came on to the conclusion. Cardinality is one is to n. Once you are able to activate, you can see we have the check table. We have the text table. How I can check the relationship between both the tables now? Simply go to your primary key table. Go to text table. It will navigate to text table. In the next video, we will create the table maintenance generator for both the tables. And at that time also huge amount of learning will come. Because now we need to maintain the data into both the tables. So that's it in this video. Thank you.